Brian. Jerry, Jerry Horton, Papa Roach. How you doing today? Good, how are you? Great, great, great. 20 years in the business with Papa Roach. What do you think? Yes, sir. Wow. Uh, I, I, think, uh, I, think it's, I think we're lucky because, you know, there's a lot of bands that aren't around anymore. Right. Um, uh, you know, I, we're really happy with, uh, with still being around, still being able to, still being able to really, like, do the, the musical journey, you know, and um, to be able to, to be in the same band for that long is it's really cool. Like, cool. You know, there's a lot of musicians that sort of go from band to band. Right. And, uh, you know, we get along great, and we love making music together, so it's cool. Wow. Triple platinum, platinum, gold, the new album, over 20 million copies sold worldwide. You get to work with James Michael again. I mean, what more can you ask for? Yeah, we're uh, we're stoked. Uh, I don't, you know, we're, we're talking, we're actually talking about which producers to work with. James is uh, up for it. Um, it may be somebody else. We're kind of in the decision phase right now, but um, we're uh, we're excited. We're probably going to start writing on the on this next uh, Carnival of Madness tour, um, and uh, I'm I'm stoked to see where it takes us. You know, great, great. And you're going out on the Carnival Carnival of Madness tour with uh, Shine Down and Skillet. And uh, the only thing uh, I'm kind of disappointed you're going to miss New Jersey, my state. They say yeah, you're not I on know. The we're going to be in stuff. We're going to be in South America. Wow. Um, we we booked the South America tour before we knew about the Carnival of Madness. Right. So it was uh, something where we, you know, we, we wanted to, we didn't want to miss the tour, but we said we already have these dates booked and we can't let our South American fans down because we, uh, we haven't been there in 11 years. Right. Wow. So, yeah. Uh, is there a chance maybe you'll you know circle around and hit Jersey uh, during yeah, the end of the know, year? Yeah, um, we're actually gonna we're actually coming back around in October. We're gonna do a headliner in Canada. We're gonna go up from west to east and then come down the eastern seaboard. So I, I'm I'm sure there's gonna be a, a Jersey date in there. Great, great. Do you guys ever take a break? <laughs> I'm looking at you, uh, Argentina, Buenos Aires, uh, yeah, everywhere. You're going. I mean, that's like a dream come true for like an American kid. Yeah, it's really like when I look back on all the places we've been. You know, we're, we're definitely very lucky. Um, yeah, we 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 are hitting it hard. Uh, you know, right now because we we had to take a few months off when Jacoby got his uh, surgery on his vocal cords. Right. So uh, we kind of have to make for, make up for lost time, right? And uh, we're gonna just hit it hard till the end of the year, and um, we'll have the holidays off. Have a, we'll have a couple months off, and then uh, get into the studio probably in March. Right. Is there really much of a difference between fans, like uh, foreign fans, to you know American fans, to any kind of fan? Um, I think. It depends on the city, right? Like if it if it's a city like New York, like people like or LA, like LA proper, New York proper, they're they're kind of jaded, you know, because <laughs> everybody comes there, right? Um, but when you talk about places like uh, you know Jersey or like um, Indiana. Those pl those kind of places get really excited about rock and roll, and that's kind of how the vibe is in Europe. Right. Um, they get stoked, they get excited, and there's a good energy about the show. So, right, right. Um, yeah. do, is is there too much of a difference between like a, a headline Papa Roach show compared to a festival show? Um, the sh the set is shorter, uh -huh. uh, usually. And, um, you know, I think for a festival show, we kind of feel like, feel, uh, like a challenge to, to make an impression, um, with the headline show, you know, obviously the, the, the need to make an impression is still there, but we want, we want to give the crowd 
you know, a, a cool, like, a, a cool journey um, through the set uh, and make it an experience where a festival, it's kind of like, just hit them with everything at once, you know? Right. Um, so, yeah, there's a little bit of a difference, but um, still, we, we give 100%. Right. You know, every show, and, and uh, make, we want to make people go away, you know, super excited and, and you know, having a good memory about it and, and wanting to come back. Right. When you go out on tour, is there any competition between band members, anything like uh, outlandish or anything like that, uh, that, you know, you say, you know, I could do this and whatever? No. Uh, every once in a while, there's like, you know, a little... We we just kind of have fun on stage, and we'll try and, and do things. But um, I, I wouldn't say that there's really any competition. You know, when when it comes to to, to being on stage and playing a show, it's it's more of you know getting a zone and and work together and you know play tight and and all and you really just focus on the show and and get get the get the, the crowd involved and in, and in singing along and, and jumping them down. Right when you're you're playing a song, what, what goes through your mind? Uh, if it's a song we haven't played before, uh, what's going through my mind is "Don't Mess Up." <laughs> and uh, if it's a song I've been playing for a while, it's you know, it's just it's about having fun on stage, and uh, you know, sometimes you know, messing with the crowd. If if not not in a bad way, but you know, just like. If somebody's kind of looks like they're bored or whatever, I'll like give them a look and say, "Come on, let's you know, let's do this," and um, you know, getting people to jump and and all that. You know, that's what it's about. Right. Is there anything special you guys ask for on your tour rider? Uh, right now it's well, there's vodka. Mhm. Mm there's Jameson. There's uh. You know, the, the, we have the drink, the two drinkers in the band, and then you know, uh, two uh, non-drinkers. And try, you know, we're, we're but we're all trying to be healthy. Um, so you know, we'll have like salad and uh, fruits and nuts and all that kind of stuff. Cool. Um, and then uh, yeah, the drinkers will have their poison and. Um, Nothing really weird on 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 the rider. So I mean, we have socks on there because <laughs> you know people. If we do laundry, or whatever socks disappear. Right. So. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Uh, are you happy since Papa Roche is uh, established and stuff now? Uh, you're you're you don't have to go through that dollar menu anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, that is nice. Uh, it's not. Uh, you know we don't we don't order out to Morton's every every night, but it's nice to to not have to do that. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, what? What? what, what uh, sorry. What? What is it like when like you know someone comes up and uh, asks for your autograph or uh, anything? It's cool, man. It's, it's uh, you know I'm not the guy that's looking for attention all the time. So when it happens, it, you know it's it's kind of. It's either at a show or, or around the time of a show. Right. Um, Jacoby is the one that gets recognized all the time, but it's cool. You know, it's it's uh, usually it's somebody that is a real fan and and is uh, into the band as so far as to to know all the band members and um, sometimes it's uh, somebody who plays guitar and um, it's cool to know that you know we've had an effect on people, you know, other than just giving them entertainment, you know, a lot of times it's either inspiring people to pick up an instrument or it's, you know, the lyrics of a song will have helped somebody through a hard time in their life. Right. And um, it's, so it's, it's definitely gratifying that way. Cool. Like after a show, are you the person who hangs out or want to go back to the hotel and get some rest? Um, I'm usually... Well, I hang out, but I I hang out like I'll hang out with my my uh, my guys on the bus, or if there's a you know a crowd of people outside, I'll go out and sign autographs, take pictures and stuff. 
cool, cool. What else can you expect uh, from Papa Roach? What, what is your goal now since, I mean, like I said, triple platinum, double platinum. What's your goal now? The goal is to go to, to new places. We haven't been to Greece, Turkey, um, I don't know, Croatia, Southeast Asia. Um, so the goal is to go to those kind of places and, uh, you know, work, work up enough of an audience to, to, to do a big tour like headline arenas. You know, that's, that's our goal. Wow, wow. Well, I congratulate you, Jerry. You, you, 20 you. years and uh, yeah. amazing music. I mean, uh, you know. Thank I, you. I appreciate that. You know, I listened to the album. I mean, there's, uh, you know, quite a few tracks I really love. I, I thought one, um, you went out on a limb on with uh, Won't Let Up. I, I thought that was a little yeah. bit different. I, you know, I think yeah. you strayed away from the, you know, the traditional Papa Roach sound. Yep. And uh, but I I love uh, leader of the broken heart, and um, give me back my life. Two two songs which uh, are amazing, and uh, I love the CD, and I congratulate you. Thank you so much. Thanks for giving me a talk today. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>